Hello, welcome to Curse Brains. In this following video, I will be showing how to easily fix the error. Minimal bash like line editing is supported. I will show how does the error look, and even will demonstrate how to fix it, as you can see the error can be seen when you boot the PC. It will stay there until you restart your PC, and select any secondary operating system you have on your hard drive. I don't have much idea why the following error occurs, in my case I had installed prime operating system through ISO file, and deleted it without performing clean uninstall, so there must be even many other reasons the error may occur. So I will even make another video, showing how to completely uninstall and remove, any secondary operating system from the bootloader. Just restart your PC, and get into the boot menu by pressing F12 or any other desired button. Selecting Windows Boot Manager will let us get into the Windows operating system, so we can fix the error. Now I will show how easily the error can be fixed. You will need 4 things before fixing the following error, those are Explorer++, ext2 FSD installer, grub fixing code, Phoenix OS installer I have installed Phoenix OS already, but I will install ext2 FSD, and show how to make FAT32 drive visible to get in. I will leave all the download links in the description. After the installation completes, run the program and see for the drive which has the FAT32 format, and assign it a drive letter to make it visible in Explorer++. I have Explorer++ pre-installed, if you don't have just install it, and run it as an administrator. Now you will be able to see the FAT32 drive. Open it get into boot folder and then grub folder. From there just get into one more folder, and you will be able to see grub configuration file, open it in notepad. Now you have to do is, paste the error fixing grub code. Grub fixing code which will be pasted into grub configuration file, residing in the boot folder. After pasting just save the grub configuration file. Then exit from Explorer++ Open ext2 FSD and remove the assigned letter to the FAT32 drive
Now restart the system, to check whether the fix has been worked successfully to fix the minimal bash line editing error. That's it, that's how the error can be fixed successfully, and you will be able to see Phoenix OS booting perfectly with no errors. Hope I have explained each and everything clearly, leave your comments and doubts in the comments section. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for much more videos, thank you for watching this video.